The Atlanta Falcons 2022 season had a rocky beginning. Snap spot. Blocked. And the Saints beat the Falcons 27 to 26. To his right in trouble. Steps out. And will never get the pass away. In fact, fumbled it. And the ball game's over. The final here in Los Angeles. The Rams 31 and the Falcons 27. Hold your heads up high. You know, same peripheral opponents. Thought we wouldn't get a yard, get a point. Same one would be right in old narratives. That's not us. You know, it, it didn't go the way we wanted. And uh, blame me. And we'll get better from this. And if we have the right mindset, we'll improve from this and become a better team. It ended with more losses than wins, but a solid foundation was formed. And he will be taken down. Rookies and veterans learned how to play, fight, and win together. Pressure coming. He'll bounce it off the pads and intercept it. Mariota going to take the deep shot, and it is caught. Demir Bird and Lorenzo Carter scores the Atlanta touchdown. Can't reach great heights without learning to fly. Going into week three, Cordero Patterson wanted to go home with a win. Patterson had a career high 141 rushing yards. How about a little tidy 40 yard run by Cordero Patterson? Cordero Patterson, right side, 10, 5, touchdown Atlanta. First round pick Drake London scored his second touchdown of the season. And Drake London scores the Atlanta touchdown. Atlanta's defense brought the pressure to Seattle on their last drive. In trouble sack Lorenzo Carter. Pressure coming, Grady Jarrett. Here's Gino to his right, going to throw downfield, intercepted. Richie Grant's got this one. 15 slides down, 19-yard line. Richie Grant comes up with his first career interception. It's an excellent job of this team continuing to grow. Get ready, Atlanta, coming home to play Cleveland. It takes a village for a great team win. Let's go, go. Let's go, Atlanta made themselves at home in the first quarter. Cordero around the left edge at the five stiff arm touchdown. Three-point lead for the Browns. All right, well, guys, here's what we're doing. We're going to run this out of this football. Hey, hey, just trust me. We're getting ready to run the this out of football. We're trying to get something going. I got you. I got you. Algier going to try and go right side this time. He'll turn the corner. Caleb drives to the five. It'll be first and goal. Here's Huntley. Left side. In Muncie, Indiana, because Caleb Huntley gets the hometown touchdown. The try from Koo is away, and it is good. Atlanta's in front with 2.28 to play. Brissett dropping again, throwing, and it is intercepted. D. Alford. Holy smokes! And D. Alford has a moment. With the Falcons' first win at home, they got cozy in their nest. Here we go. Best event on the field today. Best event in the stadium. Yes, Jesus. On this day today, it's up. Two-time Pro Bowler Brady Jarrett was named captain for his fourth consecutive season.
Jarrett led the Falcons' defense with six sacks, 17 quarterback hits, and 12 tackles for loss. Brady Jarrett, you shall not pass. He's dubbing him another monster afternoon. Second round pick Arnold Evacati recorded 31 quarterback pressures, the fifth most among all rookies this season, and the most by a Falcons rookie since pressures began being tracked. Evacati finished his rookie season with 30 tackles, two and a half sacks, and 11 quarterback kicks. John Drake. It's a tough dude right there, man. I like old Drake. Good, 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 good receiver, man. Good mindset, good mindset. I like him. First round pick Drake London exceeded expectations in his rookie season. Gonna zip it down the field. There is London who makes the catch. London set the Falcons' rookie reception record with 72 catches, surpassing Kyle Pitt's 68 catches from 2021. Not only did London lead the team in receptions, he also led with 866 receiving yards and tied for the most touchdown receptions. And Drake London scores the Atlanta touchdown. With London and fellow rookie Tyler Algier, the Falcons became the fourth team to have a 1,000-yard rookie rusher and an 800-yard rookie receiver in the same season in NFL history. Four quarters of our football. I do what you got to do. Come on and bring the juice and bring the energy. Falcons on three. One, two, three. The Falcons offense brought the juice to the field. They were the only team to squeeze out over 150 yards rushing against the NFC's top run defense. Into the end zone is Michael Pruitt. Snap to Mariota. Marcus will keep it right side. Turn the corner. Touchdown Atlanta. Marcus Mariota. Beautifully executed. Pete San Francisco to the corner. Good drive, good drive. Yep. Help the job. Yep, good job, boys. Good job. Hey, keep running. It's coming. Mariota looks. Now going to loop. And Kyle Pitts caught it. Touchdown. The 49ers couldn't keep their hands on the ball. Atlanta's hands on defense was dominant, limiting San Francisco to 50 rushing yards. Second down at 10, play fake. Garoppolo wants to line up another one. Middle of the field, that got broken up and intercepted. Jalen Hawkins off the deflection. They're going to hand the ball to Wilson. He cracks the line and pushes through. The ball popped out. Terrell's got it. A.J. with the football, and the next thing you know, Atlanta's in the end zone. Let's Arthur go, Smith's baby. team Let's go, commanding Let's go. victory. The Falcons danced their way into week eight, leading the NFC South with a three and four record. Marcus Mariota threw for 258 yards. Touchdown. Gonna shoot it downfield. Caught Bird. 35. Demir. Far side 30. 25. 20. Bird. 15. 10. 5. Touchdown, Atlanta. Under the radar rookie Tyler Algier started to break out with his second touchdown of the season. Tyler Algier. It is a Atlanta touchdown. A rushing score last week and a receiving touchdown now. Atlanta's defense found ways to take down the Panthers. My goodness, Rashawn Evans came in a flash. Pressure coming, trying to loop, it's intercepted. Lorenzo Carter tries to get left, he does. 10-5, touchdown Atlanta. Holy cow. The Panthers scored in the final few seconds of the fourth quarter, tying the game at 34-34. 
After throwing three touchdown passes, Mariota ripped off a 30-yard run in overtime to set up Young Way Koo's game-winning field goal. How about that play by Marcus Mariota? Here's Koo for the win. Kick is away. And Young Way Koo from 41 yards wins the ball game. And the Falcons are four and four, one and two in the division, and three and three in the NFC. He might outwork a lot of guys, not outworking me. Yeah. It's hard to outwork Pro Football Focus's top offensive player of the year. Pro Bowler Chris Lindstrom was listed as the top offensive player in the NFL with a 95 rating. Get out of my way. Starting all 17 games at right guard, Lindstrom led the way for the number three rushing attack in the NFL. Even three-time defensive player of the year, J.J. Watt, couldn't meddle with the Iron Man of the offensive line. <laughs> Not only has Lindstrom made an impact on his team, but has also made a significant impact on his community. He was named the Atlanta Falcons Walter Payton Man of the Year. Hey, let's put this ball in here, eh? Yeah! Yes, it's we get this thing back. Let's go, let's go put a drive together. Got a little momentum right now, defense, you know what I mean? Let's go put a drive together. For Daryl Patterson and Tyler Algier were the dynamic duo that led Atlanta to rank third in rushing. Algier set the Falcons' rookie rushing record with 1,035 yards, surpassing William Andrews in 1979. Over the final six weeks, Algier rushed for 483 yards and two touchdowns on 89 carries. He averaged 96.6 rushing yards per game, the second most among all NFL running backs over that span. He became the sixth rookie selected in the fifth round or later to eclipse 1,000 rushing yards over the past 20 seasons. Algier finished the season with 1,035 yards, 210 carries, and three touchdowns. Next to Algier is 10-year NFL veteran Cordero Patterson. Nicknamed Flash, Patterson returned to kick off 103 yards for a touchdown in Week 11, marking his ninth career kickoff return for a touchdown, the most in NFL history. Flash set single-season career highs for 695 rushing yards and eight rushing touchdowns in 13 games. Uh, Get the gritty. Can't hear you, buddy. Get the gritty. Get the gritty. I, I can't dance, man. I don't know why kids think I can dance. I can't. Do, I bet you can do it. Let me see, man. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, okay. Ah, I can't do that, man. I can't do that, man. Cordero Patterson may not know how to dance, but knows how to boogie down the football field. Patterson lost his groove on one play. And the first down give is Patterson. Cordero, oh, look out, stepped on the cutback, breaks the 30, 35 CP, leaving carnage, ball pops out, Atlanta turns it over. Scooped up by the Bears, Chicago making a run with it. Jalen Johnson off the Patterson fumble. Cordero, such a strong runner, trying to get that extra yardage. It's stripped from behind here. I got y'all, boy. That's yep. on me. I'll make up for it. I'll make up for it. I promise you. I promise you. Yeah, we're good. Cordero Patterson out of the end zone. He'll hit the 20 25. Here goes CP. 35 40. Patterson on his way. 30. He's got the 20. 10 5. Touchdown in left. Chicago Bears. The crown on the head of 
Cordero Patterson is the king of kickoff return touchdowns yep. in National Football League history. It takes two to tango. Atlanta's offense and defense found the rhythm once Patterson set the tone. Touchdown Atlanta diving into the end zone. Fields from the pocket and he will be sacked. And Atlanta just mushes, just crushes the pocket down on top of Fields. Fields wants to throw. He will be sacked. Looking, here's Eva KT. Got it. You shall not pass. Defense. Defense. Straight drop. Fields wants to throw. In the pocket. Back across the middle and accepted. He was trying to get Montgomery and Jalen Hawkins has come up with the pick. The Commanders are going to win. Atlanta's going to fall to five and seven. And this one will be disappointing to Arthur Smith and his team. Pittsburgh's going to go to five and seven, and Atlanta's going to fall to five and eight. Another tough loss for the Falcons. Are you planning on making a change at quarterback? Well, Mike, you know, it's a unique time when you're ready to go in the bye. And so we'll evaluate everything. Everything, every job's open. After reevaluating the roster during the bye week, Arthur Smith decided first year quarterback Desmond Ritter was ready to start. With a rookie at the helm, it was time to see what the team's future holds. In regards to roster moves, we didn't make a switch at quarterback, so Desmond Ritter will be the starter. It's a performance based decision. Obviously, where our circumstances are. I think I talked last time about trying to get over the hump, some of these close games, and where we tried to push the offense. We feel like it's the best decision. I don't know where he's at, where the team's at. In Ritter's third starting game, it was 19 of 26 with zero interceptions. Ritter again. This is Michael Pruitt on the crossbar side, 20. Tyler Algier and Cordero Patterson combined for 125 yards rushing and two touchdowns on 29 carries. Ritter, hands, CP, right side, touchdown Atlanta. Tyler Algier will punch home his third rushing score of the year, and Atlanta goes in front. Lee had it blocked. Wow, he wants to fake throw, and he's sacked. Isaiah Oliver. Wants to gun it again. Now he fades the pocket. He'll be sacked. And that's Okadeji. Ritter drove Atlanta 72 yards in 12 plays in the final five minutes, helping set up Young Wei Ku's game winning field goal. It is a 21 yard field goal for Young Wei Ku to give Atlanta its sixth win of the year. Kick is from Ku, and it is go. And Atlanta wins. Rookie Desmond Ritter stayed on his toes facing Tom Brady and the Bucks in his final audition to close up the season. Rookies Tyler Algier and Drake London helped get down the field. Algier rushed for 135 yards on 25 carries, while London had six receptions for 120 yards. Gonna sip it down the field. There is London who makes the catch. Ritter put points on the board by throwing his first career touchdown pass. Flips it in zone. Caught! The touchdown maker, Michael Pruitt. First career touchdown pass for Desmond Ritter. Brady fought to enter the playoffs with momentum, but Atlanta's defense had plans of their own. And he'll be close to the first down. Ball popped out. And it belongs to Atlanta. The defense left the Bucks scoreless in the second half, while Atlanta's offense took the wind out of their sails. Wide open, Alameda Zacchaeus for the Atlanta touchdown. Patterson, touchdown, Atlanta. 
Young Wei Koo finished off the Falcons' season with a 51-yard field goal, not only ending the season on a high note, but making Brady's final regular season game a loss, his first ever to the Falcons. The Falcons close the campaign on a winning note. Talk about foundation and culture and, and what it means to be a Falcon. And we talk about our ethos and these guys, and, um, and obviously, you know, we love to still be playing, but we're not. But there's a lot of good things that happened. Uh, we wanted to finish the season strong. It's important to win every time you go out there. And our guys did that the last two weeks, and there was a lot of, a lot of bright spots to finish the season. The Atlanta Falcons are eagerly waiting in the wings for the upcoming 2023 season. A young roster continues to grow, and a first-round draft pick is poised to make an impact. With the eighth pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select B. John Robinson, running back, Texas. The All-American running back rushed for 1,580 yards and scored 18 touchdowns in his final year at the University of Texas. Embracing change with open arms, the Atlanta Falcons continue to claw their way to the top. As they mastered last season's lessons, the Atlanta Falcons are learning to fly.